हेलो माय डियर कोटीज हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम टू किड शॉर्ट स्टोरीज होप यू ऑल एंजॉयिंग विद द वीडियोस ओके हाउ आर यू एंजॉयिंग योर वीकेंड एंजॉयिंग वेरी गुड शॉपिंग इज डन फॉर योर दिवाली ओके गुड कम लेट्स गेट इन साइड अ स्टोरी नाउ बिफोर गेटिंग इन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल like the video share with your friends and family and please click on the bell button only then you'll get a notification whenever a new video is uploaded okay fine come let's see what is the story for today today's story name is the has has no brains the has has no brains what is has has is a donkey you know right okay so let's see what is the story the lion the king of the forest had grown old who is the king of the forest the lion he had grown old being weak he could not hunt for his food because he is old he had no strength he cannot go for hunting he is is uh, it's getting very difficult to get a uh, food so he called the fox and said i appoint you as my minister you must advise me on all the affairs of the forest and also bring me an animal to eat every day so what did this king do he appointed fox as a minister for himself so that he can give advice for all the affairs that is happening in the forest because he is a king right lion is a king so you need some uh, like there will be so many things happening in the forest so he needs some advice and guidance from the minister so he appointed fox as the minister and also he told fox that he should bring food an animal as a food to him every day because he can't go for an hunting the fox went out on the way he met an ass and said the fox agreed to work as a minister so he when he came out there was an ass that is nothing but a donkey he called the ass and said you are very lucky he called ass and said you are very lucky animal why because our king the lion has chosen you to be his chief minister the fox is lying to the ass he said the king lion has chosen the ass as the chief minister the ass said i am afraid of the lion he might kill me and eat me up and i don't think i am really fit to be a minister the ass is getting scared if i go to lion and meet him he will kill me he will eat me off so i am very scared of lion i am not going to come and and i don't think so i am capable of uh, to stay as a minister the clever fox laughed and said oh you don't know your great qualities you have a special charm of your own the fox is still trying to cheat the ass because he need to take the ass right to the king for a food so he's keep on cheating him he is convincing the ass to come with him so what is he telling you don't know your great qualities you have a very big quite nice qualities inside you you don't know yourself you have your own charm you are so beautiful you have your own charm to be a minister our king is dying to meet you he just want you to come and meet him he want you to take the position as a chief minister come please come so he is keep on convincing he has chosen you because you are wise gentle and hard working he told us you are very wise person you are a very gentle person and you are very hard working person so you need to agree this you come with me now come with me and meet a great king he will be really happy to see you so he is keep convincing so agree whatever i am telling it's true so agree with this come with me meet the king so he is calling the ass to come with him so the poor ass was convinced and got ready to go along with the fox so when the fox was uh, talking so convincingly he agreed thus agreed to the fox and he is ready to go with the fox to meet the lion as soon as they entered the cave the lion pounced on him and killed him instantly 
the moment the fox took the donkey the ass inside the cave the what did the lion do he lion jumped on the ass and killed him instantly the lion thanked the clever fox and was happy to get the food what did the lion do he killed the ass and thanked the fox for getting the food as the lion sat down to make the meal the fox said your majesty i know you are very hungry and it is time for your dinner but the king must take a bath before his meal when the lion killed the ass and was ready to eat the fox said oh my dear king i know you are hungry and it is your dinner time but the king should take bath before eating the food right so the lion thought it was a good idea oh yeah what is the fox telling is a good idea so i'll do one thing i'll go take bath and come you take care of the ass that i killed okay don't allow other any other animals to come and eat you just take care of it i'll go take bath and come back so the lion went to take bath the fox sat down silently to keep a watch on the king's meal the fox is sitting and watching on the ass so that the uh, king can come and eat he was very hungry and thought to himself by seeing the ass there even fox started to feel hungry so he is thinking himself i took all the trouble of getting the ass here it is i who deserve the best portion of the meal so the fox is thinking himself i am the one who struggled so much to get the ass here the lion just pounced on him and killed and he want to eat everything but i am the one who need to get the best part of this animal so i will eat which portion is the best so i lead that off he was thinking himself thus the fox cut open the head of the ass and ate up the whole brain what did the fox do the fox cut open the head of the ass and he ate the brain he completely ate the brain when the lion returned and looked at the ass the lion came back from the bath when he looked at the ass the ass head was cut open so the lion is asking he felt something was fishy here something is missing so he found that the head of the ass has been cut open so what did he do he inquired the fox who came here what happened to the head of the ass so he is asking i didn't do anything then who had cut open the ass who came here what happened to the head so the fox pretended to be innocent and reminded the lion the fox is acting as so innocent as if he don't know anything he didn't do anything so he is acting innocent and trying to remind the lion your majesty you had given the poor ass a powerful blow on the head when you killed him he is telling you pounced the uh, ass so hard that because you hit on his head the head got separated from the body the so the head is cut open that's what he explained to the lion the lion was satisfied with the answer and sat down to take his meal oh okay i think i would have hit him so hard so that the head has come out that's okay and um, that's okay no issue i'll eat now so the lion is sitting to eat suddenly he shouted what happened to the ass brain i wanted to eat the brain first suddenly when he saw the brain is not there the head is open okay no issue but where is the brain gone he started to shout oh my god where is the brain i want to eat the brain first the fox smilingly replied your majesty asses have no brains the fox is again pretending he is smiling the fox is smiling oh my god my, my king the ass has no brain if this one had any brain he would not have come here to become your meal right so he is telling as the donkey have no brain at all if he had any brain why will he come with me to become your meal right so the ass has no brain you please eat the other may balance food so he convinced the lion and the lion got convinced and he ate the balanced food and they went to sleep that's it that's the end of the story
okay hope you like the story my dear kids okay so let's see tomorrow in a new video before closing please like the video share with your friends and family subscribe the channel and click on the bell button only then you'll get notification whenever a new video is uploaded okay kids enjoy your weekend today is saturday tomorrow is sunday please enjoy it okay but be safe and chill okay take care bye have a nice day have a great weekend bye